Hi guys, my name is my name is Lily, and I'm going to be talking to you about about how to about how to put an invention to market. Now there's, now there's going to be a lot of information. I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you want, you can take notes on your phones. And so let's get started. Launching in Prague sounds pretty hard, huh? I mean, you can imagine. Well, I promise you, I'm a regular kid. Mm. I struggle with math, and I have an I had an idea not much different from what any of you guys have. And, and if you and if I can do it, you can do it. So, how many of you know how to post a video on YouTube? Share links on Facebook. Post a picture on Instagram. Well, then you are a lot closer than you think. I'm Lily Born. I'm in seventh grade up in, and I go to a school up in the suburbs of Chicago. And this is my invention, the kangaroo cub. Don't forget your slides. Yep. Um, so, and and originally this cup was for my was for my grandfather because he has Parkinson's disease and he spills a lot. And so and so it took, and so two years ago I found an imagery with trust me a lot of help and I took this product to market. Today I spend most of my time on design work and and inventing and doing sales and marketing all that and marketing and all that kind of stuff. But please do not ask me questions about taxes or accounting. I'm still learning that with class in between. Two things that are different from school and launching a product is one, asking for help, and two, failing. And in school, you know, you get separated for the big tests, and you have to do that all alone, right? But when launching a product, that's kind of a different story. When you're launching a product, you are always asking for help. And and I think I'm just going to go this far and say, I think asking for help for, when launching a product is one of the most important th things you can do. And, and um, I think we'll talk and we'll talk about that later. Second, uh, in school, you. In school, like you, like you're expected to get an A that first time, right? You're supposed, you like some, like me, like maybe some of your parents are strict on on grades, like, uh, like maybe like a passing grade. But when launching a pro, when launching a product, you, your prototypes like, like this one, this one leaks. So, um, but but I mean, when launching a product, you're most of your prototypes will not work, okay? But that, but it's like getting F's and F's and F's for months. But then there's that one day where you actually get the A, and that is the and that is the prototype that you will be doing. The process is: observe, brainstorm, prototype, experiment, iterate, launch, production, and observe all over again. These are the basic steps, and we'll talk about each of those in a second. Observe. My big, my big advice here is to look for something important. I invented a no-spill cup originally for my grandpa and to help him, but it turned out it was a good problem to solve because a lot of people cared about that problem, and a lot of people wanted to help because they felt it was important, right? And, and you'll see how it really helped me later in the presentation. But it might be more, well, it might be more fun, like you can imagine, say, come up with like a new fashion app, or like, or like a messaging app, or really, or really anything that might be fun to a teenager. But for all that to happen, you might need an adult. Because I'm going to admit that, adult, that adults, they might have a little bit more experience than some, than some of us, because, well, they went, through, they went through a lot of more stuff than maybe we did. And like, an, and like a new fashion app and something fun that would be fun to us might not be as, as important to them. You're behind a slide. One more. <laughs> Brainstorm. Look for, thing, look for things in nature, look for machines around you, how they work. They, and simple is better. You see, it might be more fun to come up with like this complicated thing that you that you feel like 
will be awesome and my, and you can and you might be able to do but it but it's probably a little bit more complicated like say Siri comes out of the iPhone and make you an ice cream pie you see you can imagine that that would be harder <laughs> And do not worry about it being pretty. If anyone thinks it looks ugly, show them these pictures. And, the, and this is the way all inventions start. Also, look at how simple it is. You could, you could have done something a lot more complicated, but we probably never would have gotten it working and in production. And for people who think like they can't draw, or they're not good at, good at drawing, I think this would be, the, I think the prototype phase might be really good for you because it doesn't have to be pretty. There is no need to get a fancy start. Wire, clay, cardboard, they are all your friends. And they're fast, cheap, and that, they're fast, cheap, and easy, and that is the key. Modifi modifying, modifying existing products too will help also known as innovate. And look at how silly it looks. I used a cup from my grandma's cupboard to make, the, to make this. And most people aren't used to seeing prototypes because they think that a prototype will look like something that you might buy out of, out of like Target, Walmart, or Best Buy. But, the, but that is not the way it works. You, it takes a long time for, for it to get to function right. Then you make it look pretty. But that's generally the last step in the process. Do not expect it to work on the first try. Again, you will get a lot of S before before you get the right one. And and also get pe get people to help you from around you, such as like a friend, your mom or dad, a sibling, a cousin, an aunt and uncle. I think you get what I'm saying. This is the long part. You'll be amazed about how long this part takes. And again, this is still the ugly stage. This is where you're still trying to get a, a prototype to work right. And, oh. and, and look at all those. We spent months working on those. And this is just a handful of them. Trust me, there are so many more. And, we, and as you can see, they are all still pretty ugly. That one leaked, and we use, but we use these for testing to see if they, to see how easy they would spill or how comfortable they were. Um, the story short, it took a long time. Now it's time to sell. Now you need to do something for the year force. This is fine. Um, but. But how a product looks is often how important it works. And I know I was just telling you it doesn't need to look pretty, but when you launch the product and you're trying to sell it, it needs to look pretty. But but when it but when it comes to selling it, people do, you don't need to be in production. You don't you can put it up on crowdfunding websites first. And, and to see if people want it. And if they don't, well, <coughs> you're gonna have to go back to phase one and figure out why and what you might need to change. Two, two sites you should know about are Kickstarter and Indiegogo. They, you can post a video, pictures, and a description about, about your product, even before your production, and let people back their product so you can use that money to actually get yourself into production. You let them, you, but let them know that you won't actually go into the product for months, and only if you raise enough money. Here's our Kickstarter page. It's, it was a result of a lot of work. We spent months putting together the video and, and the graphics and all that kind of stuff in that area. And we sold 10,000 cups and raised over $62,000. How did we succeed? Well, look at our, look at our Facebook share symbol. Over 3,000 three, over 3, people shared. Again, this is why making a story, make, this is why the story makes it more personal. The personal is so important. People share things about, that they care about. And, 
and that's important to your success. And of course, a lot of press help. Subject of getting press is a whole new subject itself, but then again, you. But again, the point here is to talk about. The, but again, the point here is what. The, the point here <laughs> is what is why it's important to think about the story from the start. The story helps people and reporters understand what you're doing, and 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 the story and, and the story makes it very personal. It gets people to care not only about your product but about you. And and, per, and reporters are seeing new products every day, and trust me, they are very 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 cool. And you need your story for your product to stand out of, over all the rest. Production is another big subject. We don't have time to talk about all that for now, but let's just think about the basics. The mold, the mold on the left for ceramics is $100, but, but injected mold of plastics on the right is, oh, is over $10,000. Is $10, they differ some. Huh? The, the, the great news is, again, you don't need to figure all this out today. You can, you just, but you really should understand the basics. You, and of course, the internet is a friend here, I know. Schools consider it cheating, <laughs> but, you st but you can just learn the basics by Googling it. And, and everyone asks, why did we use ceramics first? And this is the reason. We needed something simple and cheap to get in production. I know this may seem like an awful lot thrown at your face, uh, th thrown at your face, and it's easy to get overwhelmed. But please, but please know this is not just me doing this. There are other kids around the world who are doing products just as great, and you're and you're probably already good storytellers on Instagram, Twitter, etc. But just take it one step at a time. That's the way all of us do it. But don't ask if you can do it if you can do all of it at once. Just ask if you can do this. Pretty simple, huh? And then ask if you can do this. And then that's when you'll learn along the way. Please reach out and say hello. We're going to we're going to answer questions. Um, but remember, I'm 12 years old. Don't exactly have all the answers to the meaning of life, but <laughs> the stuff I know best is really in the product design and marketing and press and all that stuff. As I said earlier, not really the best of the numbers or the business kind of things in that area. So, um, questions? Any?